Okay, I want to watch that looks maxing video. Kung Fu. But I want to get some pistachios. Uh, this week. Oh my god, it's 42 minutes long. Do you think he'll get mad at me for reacting to his video? Subscribe. He hates me? Well, I'm gonna go get some pistachios. I'll be right back. Video time. I'm gonna try out the various methods, products, and exercises that the Looks Maxing community promotes to see if it actually has an impact on my appearance. So let's see the results. Really quick before the video starts, I just want to let you all know my comedy special, Keep Busy, is now available to purchase and own on my Patreon. You don't even need to be a member of my Patreon to watch the special. You can just purchase it with a couple clicks and watch it as many times as you want for the rest of your life. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Also, there's a few tickets left for my shows in Arizona coming up very soon. And I'm doing a hometown show in Hamilton, Ontario. Tickets are available right now. Links in the description. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Folks! It's a new year, and now is the time to start setting some goals and aspirations for yet another trip around the sun. We've been circling that thing for years, man. It's probably super annoying. I feel bad yeah, for that guy. And I'm only assuming the sun is a boy because it's not called the daughter. Whether you want to read more books this year or work out a way to never read a book ever again, whatever it is, there are tons of healthy he has a and mullet. productive methods to achieve your goals. But obviously, if you've seen my videos before, we're not going to be talking about any of those methods today. I think a common New Year's resolution is to take better care of yourself. And in turn, you'll look better and feel better, which is great. But I think in the modern age, with a never-ending onslaught of information from non-reputable sources, paired with the constant impulse to compare yourselves to other people who are only posting the positive yeah, aspects one point of two life appearance, it creates this sort of like perfect storm where people try to improve the way they look in the most harmful ways imaginable. Which brings us to today's topic looks maxing. If you've never heard of it before, the most basic definition of looks maxing is the physical improvement of a person's face and or body. According to an article in the New York Times, the term looks maxing has roots on incel message boards and the manosphere, which heavily attribute romantic success to the perceived genetic advantages held by tall Thanks, and muscular Kudu, men. So in short, looks maxing is mostly done by insecure young men who are willing to try just about anything to improve their looks. And like I said, there are a ton of healthy, proven ways Thanks, to improve your health and appearance. But a lot of the looks maxing methods and ideology are just straight up dangerous and this trend of looks maxing has exploded in the past year mainly due to I wonder if it goes over asshole tanning showcasing looks maxing methods as well as before and after shots of dudes on their looks maxing journey uh, bro like that is just fucking fillers and what and editing oh my god that reminds me there's this guy that someone said john looked like so i looked him up and then in all his cosplay photos he was really like and then I found a clip of him, a candid, like, video of him, and he looked nothing like that. Like, nothing. His entire facial structure was different. Her, his eye angle was different. Like, everything was different. Like this I was one like, it's, it's editing. Do you guys not understand people, like, edit photos and stuff? Sure. And makeup? After. Okay. Yeah, aside from the fact that it looks like an entirely different lens was used on the camera, I think he just got angry. <laughs> before. After. Here's another example of a before and after post. Before hair maxing, skincare maxing, shave maxing, water maxing, and sleep maxing. Jesus, man. How many fucking maxings are there? I'd assume all of these fall under the umbrella of looks maxing, but like, what the hell, man? Bro is maxing maxing. Let's see what he looks like after, because he doesn't look that bad right now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's different what? lighting. He shaved his face. And he's making a different expression, too. Sorry for being skeptical right off the bat. It's just funny to me that all the looks maxing before and afters look like if you just put one of those handsome filters on face app on yourself. And dude, also, the funny thing about this is like the looks maxing trend is the most popular with teenage boys, aka dudes who are currently going through puberty. So it's like, yeah, man, no shit. You're starting to look different, dude. It's not looks maxing. It's nature. Dude, my balls started hair maxing last night. <laughs> the people who engage in looks maxing, they make some pretty bold claims. There are people convinced that looks maxing can literally change the shape of your face. I changed my face from this to that by using free simple. This is literally the people trying to sell jade rollers on your face saying it can slim your face and it that is not how it works. This is bone. This is bone. You cannot you cannot slim your bone. You you can't. That is fucking bone. Don't 
simple steps and you can do that too and gain a more chiseled and well-defined jawline. And not just the shape, like the way your eyes look, literally change everything about your face with their various methods, products, and exercises. And it's like, why go through all of that when I could just pay a thousand gold to Galathal at the Ragged Flagon underneath the city of Riften? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry for gamer maxing. That was funny. I don't know, dude. To me, the concept of looks maxing seems a little absurd, but there's only one way to find out. He's talking too fast, guys. He's already, I think he already talks pretty fast normally. I don't need to speed it up. So this week, I'm going to try out the various methods, products, and exercises at the looks maxing oh god i'm in slow motion to see if it actually has an impact on my appearance and i know what you're all thinking you're thinking oh yeah good luck improving your face curtis you're literally the epitome of male beauty <laughs> and i thank you for it thank you so much for saying that but believe it or not there are some parts of my face that, that i would like to improve a little bit i think we all have that right i could just say we're all beautiful the way we are which is true but i don't want to be beautiful swallowed wrong I just wanna my face could use some improvements, okay? When I look back on videos from like 2019, my jawline went crazy, dude. The hell? Look at that thing. That's it's why I mustache. couldn't grow any facial hair back then. My jaw was like a friggin' razor, dude. It looks automatically the same. cut any hair that was trying to grow. So I'm genuinely gonna try out these methods this week and see if it actually does anything. But before I do that, we same. need to learn about a few of these looks maxing techniques. <laughs> bye bye! The number one thing that looks maxers promote is a technique called mewing. And no, mewing isn't just repeatedly playing the last level of Pokemon Snap on N64. Sorry for gamer maxing again. So what is mewing? Let's find out. Mewing is a technique developed by John Dr. Mew. John Mew, where you press the tongue against the palate to improve facial structure and jawline. How to mew? Close your mouth, place your bottom front teeth just behind your upper front teeth, Flatten your tongue against the roof of the mouth. Move the tip of the tongue behind your teeth without touching. Hold for as long as you can, or as long as you want to. How mewing elevates your overall look, better facial appearance, more muscular facial structure, improved profile look, overall appeal, improved photogenic qualities, boosted lower face shape and alignment. And I read a lot about mewing, there's a lot of uh, conflicting opinions about it, but WebMD says that there is no serious research that suggests mewing can change the shape of your jawline or help with other issues. Experts say it's unlikely you'll see any permanent change. But WebMD has also told me some pretty wildly untrue shit about my body over the years, so I don't know if I can trust them. I typed in tummy ache one time on WebMD and I got a phone call that said, you're gonna die in seven days. So for the next week, I am gonna be mewing all day long to see if it has any impact That's a filter. on my facial structure. Funnily enough, the last time I was at my dentist, they actually recommended that I rest my tongue on the top of my mouth because I grind my teeth so much when I'm working. So if my dentist is watching this video, they're probably kicking their feet right now. Also, now that I think about it, a lot of the looks maxing videos focus a lot on just taking good care of your teeth and making them really white and shiny and clean. So I think dentists are like secret looks maxers. This is a pic of me and my dentist, by the way. Also, dude, the looks maxing world has like so many phrases and terms that, they use that I've had to ferociously Google <laughs> over the past few days. And one of the terms they use is mogging. That word comes up a lot. You'll probably see it in some TikToks and stuff, so I should explain it. Mogging is a verb. It's like when you uh, compare Mom. yourself to another man and you see them as uglier or weaker or just inferior in any sort of way. So when you stand next to them, like you're mogging. Why do so, I know so much? Because John, for some reason, knows so much and he told me. I, lo I got it all from John. The looks maxer thinks he's, uh, he's better than you. He'll be like get mogged and that term created a joke like within the look smacksing community where people would say they're going to mogwarts like, <laughs> hogwarts the school but it's for everyone is just fucking there wait he actually talked about mogwarts this is insane i guess but the crazy thing is somebody actually turned the fictional like satirical on Roblox. joke into an actual online course what the hell is oh, Mogwarts wait, and why is it, it dollars after you join you're invited to this private community if you need any advice you can post a thread about it or reach out to teachers like Keishami, Aaron, or myself if you want their advice directly they'll answer your dms you also get joke? access to a library for textbooks on jaw eye area hair and new editions every month then there's these regular Google Meets classes where you can actually talk face to face with your teachers to ask them personalized advice. Oh my what is what's going on? What are we doing? <laughs> I swear to God, dudes will turn anything 
into an online course. This is a fu this is an epidemic, bro. We enough, okay? We're done. How about no more no more online courses, okay? Guys starting online courses is the new Yo, we should start a podcast. A guy will find like a $20 bill on the ground and the next day he'll be like, "Yo, just launched my new online course, how to find a $20 bill on the ground." There's only a couple spots left, so click the link, get in. It costs it's only pulling $20, your dick to make so it longer. Very best case scenario, you'll break what? even. Sorry, back to this Mogwarts thing it costs 40 dollars a month to learn how to improve your looks and as much as i can joke about it like this is this sad. is just the yassify filter to learn how to improve your and taking it in a different angle and the lighting's completely different your looks and as much as i can joke about it like this is sad this is really sad, dude. If there are any young boys watching right now, don't fall for this shit, okay? These are people preying on your insecurities, and it's fucking gross. If you're a fucking teenager, you shouldn't even be worrying I, about this I shit at all. I think people do Being believe a it, though. Is such Some a people short do. Time period of your life, and it does not fucking matter. Trust me. Just enjoy Especially young being boys. an ugly teenager. All right. And not to mention, that's nerdy as hell to sign up for an online course. <laughs> you know what I mean? You already have regular homework. You don't need Mogwarts homework too. Sorry. Let's get back to the methods. I found another TikTok from this video where he put, "What was the best look smacking tip for you?" And in brackets, jelking? besides jelking. And I've never heard of jelking before. Or so I googled it and I don't want to do that. I don't even want to fully explain it. And I don't even think I could without this video getting demonetized. Without getting too you know, graphic. I, shelking the, is like... If you, you know, most guys, like, n unless you have a micro penis, which affects a very small of the population, your dick size is enough. You do not need six inches. If you, if you are, that's a porn brain. That means you watch too much porn. You you are a porn addict and you have a porn brain and you're probably doing shit to the woman if you ever get to that stage, like weird shit. You are I have I have never seen a dick and been like that's too small. You went to Subway. But it, but it's it's um the also the attitude behind it is so awful when the guy is like, "Yeah, I wish I had a bigger dick." And then you're just like um, uh, no, it's fine, babe. You, your dick is fine. Like, it's... This. In order to a six inch, but then when you got the sandwich, you tried to like stretch it out into a foot long. Number 12, cock. That just seems impossible and also inappropriate for YouTube. So I'm not gonna do that. Another TikTok I saw featured this guy uh, reviewing some looks maxing products. So let's take a look at that. All right. That guy already has a drawing though. 10 out of 10. I think I tracked down the exact product that he used. It looks like this Mayena Sports Jaw Exerciser for men and women. So I ordered- Oh, you got it. But also guys just want a bigger dick even if there were no woman, which is insane. And so men, you're so right. Because you know what? Big dicks actually hurt women. It hurts. That shit will pound your, um, what's it called? The, um, the the part where the cervix yeah you think people no that shit is painful so when guys say that they wish they have a bigger dick despite being uh consoled by their partner that it's fine it's like a purely selfish egotistical thing that is just so ingrained into porn culture and them being so porn brained that it's awful ordered one of says those. a lot about the guy and I'm gonna try it this week to give my jaw a fucking gnarly workout. And the next object he used is called a gua sha stone. I've never heard of That's this That's what before, I was talking about, the thing that you'd like scrape your jaw with. Gua sha is actually a traditional Chinese medicine practice that dates back like thousands of years. And it's said to have many benefits like Sci smoothing. Size roots. queens is something else though, but you are not gonna come across a size queen in your life. I guarantee you getting rid of puffiness, promoting circulation, etc. And since it's been used in China for like thousands of years, it only makes sense for white people to be like, yo, fucking check out this brand new thing I found. And pretty much every looks maxer I've seen recommends using one of these. So I got one, yes bitches. Another pivotal aspect of looks maxing that is apparently very important is your posture. I have fucking terrible posture because I sit at my computer all day long, editing and writing. Even when I'm like genuinely oh 
relaxing. I have the posture of like a deflated balloon animal, dude. It's so sad to look at. I have the posture of a soft penis. I literally look like Randall from Recess sometimes. It's fucking, it's rough, dude. So I think this is gonna be tough for me to fix that, but while I was researching ways to- Yeah, you can tell who watches too much porn when they think they the pee-pee has to hit the uterus for her to like come and have hearts in her eyes or something. That porn, that's what they call a porn accent. That will slip out. And women will smell that shit from miles away that you have a porn accent. Prove my posture. And, but yeah, but also, also you'll be able to tell way before that. I found a device- Also, women don't come- Yeah, most women do not come from penetration. Guys that like to say, yeah, every woman I've ever been with have orgasm are lying. Or not, they don't know that she's lying to them. Because women will lie and pretend. It, nah. That you can like stick to your back and it like vibrates whenever you slouch. So I ordered that one too to fix my posture. And I'm sure this is gonna work wonders and not be annoying at all. And the final product that looks maxers recommend is chewing gum. But not just any chewing gum, are chewing gum. So I ordered some jawliner facial fitness chewing gum as well. I'm realizing now a lot of these products are uh, jaw focused. So by the end of the week, dude, I'm gonna look like fucking crimson chin, dude. I'm excited. Oh, now these yeah. methods haven't been that crazy so far, aside from the fucking gel thing. But there are some other looks maxing methods Is that are just try straight up insane. And I cannot make a video about it without addressing them. The craziest one is a method called bone smashing, which is exactly what it sounds like. I don't know how many people are like seriously doing this, but bone smashing is when you take like a hammer or a rock or a similar hard object and literally fucking break the bones in your face in the hope that they will heal in a certain way that will make you look more attractive, which is fucking gnarly. I feel like that's like the human equivalent of when your computer isn't working, so you just start fucking smacking it in the hopes that that will fix something. And obviously don't fucking do that. And I'm not gonna do that in this video. Mostly because I don't think I have the balls to fucking break my own bones. If I was gonna do that, I'd have to go to like a construction site and start making fun of the fucking workers so they would come and hit my face for me. Hey, nice pylon, pussies. <laughs> How about you all pylon these nuts? Here we go. This is... This is... This is V-line... <laughs> this... This is V-line surgery at home. Here we go. Don't worry guys, I'm not actually gonna do any bone smashing. That's your mother's job. She's smashing my bone till I gel. And the interesting thing about look smaxing is the people who are into it have a really strange obsession with their faces looking a very specific way. They view the attractiveness of men on a very objective level. And I'll show you what I mean. I found a really weird TikTok account where they give like extremely detailed reviews on how attractive certain men are. How attractive is Cillian Murphy? You know what's insane is like women don't do this shit. Literally only men do this shit to other men. Cillian has equal facial thirds, blue eyes with a positive canthal tilt, low- Wait, blue eyes is a good thing? That shit's scary as fuck. Has equal facial thirds, blue eyes with a positive canthal tilt, low set, thick and slightly positive- Bro, women do this shit all the time? Yeah, I can tell you have a porn accent. ...the tilted eyebrows. His jawline visibility is excellent and he has a wide lower third. You know, it's so funny because then- And then the kind of girls that- the kind the the kind of guys that girls thirst over on Twitter with like fifty k sixty k likes is that guy from Scott Pilgrim. He's got high set cheekbones. Michael Sarah, yeah. Face ratio. He has full lips. His hair texture is good. That what? Wait, he doesn't have full lips. He's excellent and he has a wide lower third. He's got high set cheekbones and a good <laughs> mid face ratio. He has full lips. His hair texture is good and his skin has a great complexion. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You sound insane. What are you saying? Also, I'll have you know, at the end of this video, they don't even say no homo. So what the fuck? Dude? Like, do people actually judge other people's attractiveness like this? I feel like this is only other guys do. Right? Wow, slightly guys positive do that. tilted eyebrows, equal facial thirds, positive cantal tilt. Oh my god. 
Look at that subtle off-white color. Yeah, Those incels. People are so obsessed with all having the exact same type of face. Is that really the world you want to live in? Where everybody looks the exact fucking same? Every dude is walking around with the same fucking jaw shape, same eyes, same <laughs> lips, same fucking... That's boring, dude. Wake up, sheeple. We need weird-looking fuckers, all right? We need dudes who look like medieval Dude, babies. women don't need... judge other women by going like, look at her canthal tilt and the thirds of her face equating to the Pythagoras degree of her jawline. Girls, when they call other girls, they just like, she's fucking fugly, stupid bitch. Like, that's it. <laughs> they don't, they don't say her canthal tilt is whatever. Fucking freaks, dude. We need straight up oddballs. You know what I mean? Those are the people you remember. But these looks maxers get fucking hyper fixated on the features that they think they need. No, only, like only, only incel dudes do this shit. Normal dudes do not do this shit. This is insane. What the fuck is hunter eyes? Eyes, for example. It's tough to lock down a real definition of what hunter eyes are. But I think from what I've read, it's like when you have eyes that point like up, like that way, like this guy, like or this guy. That guy. <laughs> Fellas, ladies only want one thing. The green goblin. You know, I'm something of a mirror myself. But thankfully, there is a way to get hunter well, his eyes if you don't have... is insane. What do you mean practice, hunter? Okay. This is what cos that's what cosplayers do. They tape their eyes back like this. There's actually they yeah, that's what some cosplayers do. They tape their eyes back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So also, if you keep doing that, you're gonna get wrinkles on your eyes. You really should be more careful. Pretty much just finger the hell out of my face. I realize that this guy makes a lot of videos about how to achieve the the look smacks or look. And in another video, he claims that in order to make your face more symmetrical, you need to stop sleeping on on one side and start sleeping on your back. And I'm just gonna say right now, I'm not fucking doing that. I'd rather no have the most asymmetrical face that. in the world than get fucking sleep paralysis. Okay, so sorry. You guys go right ahead and you can tell the hat man I say, get a new hat. Put the fedora down, bro. <laughs> you think the hat man in New York has like a fucking Yankee? fitted on <laughs> some fucking tims hey, yo let me get a sleep paralysis the aki way sure, sure. and this other video i found has some jaw <laughs> exercises we can do all right okay these seem these seem pretty doable you gotta make sure your parents aren't home when you do this, right? And they walk in, you think you're getting fucking possessed. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> also, dude, it's really funny. I looked through this guy's account and like every video, he's like looking to the side. Every fucking video, dude. It's like, what's the point of improving your looks if you can't even show all of your looks, right? You're just showing the one angle, dude. It's really funny to imagine this guy yeah. doing that in real life as it's well. Only Congrats one on getting your license. I'll just need you to look right at the camera for the picture, if that's all right. No, I feel like this is fine. I'm sorry, man, that's the rules. Oh my god, it's like that dream video. Hey. It's me. Thanks, Nino from Mars and Jimin Sly. No, not just your eyes. I need, like, all of you. I need you to turn to face me. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't know if I can do that. Look, I'm sorry, man. I don't make the rules. Okay, fine. Okay, holy shit. Are you okay? Just take the fucking picture! Alright, man. <laughs> okay, I think we've covered most of the aspects of looks maxing. I've got a good amount of techniques, methods, and products that I can implement into my daily routine. <laughs> and I think it's time for me to try these out to see if it makes a difference on my appearance. I took a picture of what my face looks right now, so we can compare that to the end of the week to see if it actually fucking worked. So from now on, I'm only gonna break my mewing streak to talk to the camera, okay? So... See you later. So I decided my first day would be my ultimate Mew day. I was going to keep my tongue pressed to the top of my mouth all day long. Everything I did that day, I kept my mouth shut. I made a delicious looking breakfast sandwich, but I unfortunately couldn't eat it without disrupting my mewing, so I just gazed upon it instead. This, this is what you so should do at your date. 
good maybe i watched the movie salt burn and i mewed the whole time and it's a good thing because that bathtub scene made me puke but none of it came out of my mouth all day my wife was trying to talk to me but i could not falter a man's gotta mew what a man's gotta mew. I was walking to my bedroom and I stubbed my toe and I wanted to scream so bad, but I couldn't mess up my streak. So I marched forward, brushed my teeth the best I could, then went to bed. So since I do a lot of videos that require me to actively engage with different weird communities on TikTok, my For You page is constantly changing into different versions of uh, dog shit. And the more looks maxing content I searched up and engaged with, the more looks maxing content would organically show up on my For You page. And I saw tons of videos. Dude, I even saw a post from a looks maxer saying that drinking regular tap water is making us ugly. Now, I don't think that's true at all, but regular tap water can get pretty boring, which is why I love using today's sponsor, Air Up. <laughs> Folks, Air Up is a completely new and unique hydration experience. Featured a man telling me that the way I walk is making me ugly. That's why the statue of David is so handsome. <laughs> he doesn't move. He's just fucking standing all the time, right? We don't know if he has an ugly walk. Most men are walking rushed with their head down to avoid eye contact. Look straight. That's not true. To do this, starting with number one, never hide your thumbs. This makes you seem nervous, almost as if you have something to hide. Number two, you want to sway your shoulders. Number three, you should always walk around as if there is this straight line running from the top of your head to the bottom <laughs> of your feet. All right, so uh -huh. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know that there was a correct or incorrect way to walk it seems pretty stressful to to worry about that type of shit if i'm being honest but like the idea of i feel like this is just making like people more insecure out, like, be memorable what if i just fucking crab walked crab maxing dude sorry what did he say again he said uh never hide your thumbs <laughs> sway your shoulders and then walk like there's a straight line from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet Okay, thumbs, shoulders, line. Okay. And with my new manly hot guy walk mastered, another day of looks maxing was complete. Crab walking, S tier. <laughs> all day I've been subconsciously keep, keeping my tongue at the, at the top of my mouth all day long. You know, to get that, you know, to get that nice jawline, right? I've been mewing all fucking day. It does feel If you a have a straight back, so your posture will be fine. And I've also had like, like everything else will fall into place. Swallowing my tongue ever since I saw someone do it on tv one time so that's been sort of tough to overcome i'm just like subconsciously in my head i'm just like you know always mewing always got to be all the tongue is always on the top it'd be cool if i could put like if i could rub like some maybe i'll rub like some <coughs> salami or pepperoni on the top roof of my mouth just rub it there so i can just like put my tongue up there have a little salty have a little salty snack just spitball in here for uh for looks maxing products that you can make in the future speaking of looks maxing products Let's try one of those out. All right, so I got this gum. It's called Facial Fitness Chewing Gum, Mint, Vegan, Ultra Tough, Train Your Jaw and Facial Features. And then the statue of David here. I didn't know David was fucking mewing, dude. Mucolangelo. <laughs> Number 12, cock. This is a very hard slash tough fitness chewing gum where every chewing process strains the jaw and Who's facial the guy, Drew. That's why this I recommend guy's a chewing Drew gum for no longer than 10, 15 minutes every other day. Why? What's gonna happen if I do it every day? It can have a laxative effect if consumed in excess. All right, so I guess we'll just crack into this. See how it goes. Oh God, holy shit. Fucking big ass piece of gum, bro. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, Holy dude. Fuck. I could put that on my bed, use it as a pillow, dude. Look how big this thing is, dude. Yeah, your jaw can get sore. Looking ass gum. And hurt. Down the hatch, I guess. I think he broke his tooth. Okay, so there was a there was a big sort of like snap at the first bite as I broke it in half. Ah. <laughs> Fuck this. this That's sucks. a rock. And here's the thing. How long have I been chewing this? 10 seconds? Taste is already gone. I'm gonna start tasting blood, I think. Because <laughs> of how much I've chipped my fucking teeth. What the fuck is in these? Can have a laxative effect if consumed in excess. <laughs> Good. What did I just put into my mouth? Laxative is a uh, diarrhea, right? Good. Ugh. Things lame. It's making me sick. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm gonna chew this for 10 minutes, but I will say this. I feel like looks maxers, they put a lot of emphasis on having like clean teeth, right? But I don't think it matters how fucking clean your teeth are if they're all chipped from chewing fucking gum this hard, dude. I think it's easy to take care of your teeth if you only have fucking one of them, dude. That's a lot easier. Also, dude, if I asked for a piece of gum from one of my friends and they handed me one of these, I'm fucking them up. I'm taking a hammer to their face and not in the good kind. The packaging recommended chewing the gum for 10 minutes, so that's what I 
I did. And let me tell you, this was one of the most unenjoyable Ouch. things I have ever done in my entire life. Felt like I was chewing on like a really tough piece of meat and I, I hated every second of it. Even Kiwi hated it and I don't blame him. I'm getting mugged. I'm getting mugged by you, Kiwi. That moment when you get mugged by your dog. And after 10 minutes, that felt yeah, like 10 this hours. Is, okay, that's working out your masseter muscles. So some people get Botox on it. I've got it. I've gotten Botox on my masseter muscles because some people have a really strong, um, when they say jaw, they just mean that part. But then when I got Botox on it, it made my face look so slim and I did not like it. And it numbed my face. But that's beside the point. Your muscles here can get bigger. But it's not going to noticeably change your face. It's only going to be like... It's not going to make you go from a, a average looking guy to a giga hot chad. Ah. Oh. At that piece of garbage. In the fucking garbage. Okay. Zero out of ten. This shit fucking sucks, dude. Also, I, I figured really I would bad start jaw pain. these methods and techniques. So I tried it because because I clench my teeth really hard at night, and then one time it was so bad that it started. It was like hurting for a week, and I couldn't chew or anything, or like I couldn't chew without pain. So I tried it, and then I didn't like that it numbed my face. And like when I tried to smile, it was like it was bad. I did not like it. So now I'm just like, okay, whatever. But it it hasn't been as bad lately go on it might help to visually illustrate how these different methods hold up so the jawliner gum that's gonna go d tier this shit fucking sucks man it loses its flavor in two seconds it feels like you're chewing on a sock it just sucks and it makes you want to puke okay bad gum and also mewing i think i'm gonna put a because it's easy yeah i can feel and, my I don't know, it's bones kind of grinding later that day my, i decided to try out jaw. the hunter eyes exercise because i want my eyes to look just like hunter biden so cute oh. the blinking exercise felt weird as hell I, I fucking really hated that one because my eyes were making little slimy clicking noises whenever i blinked and it really freaked me out and the whole time i was doing this i just kept thinking like is this really how malleable you're getting a wrinkle stop you just move around and your face stays like that dude like we're fucking play-doh but that play-doh okay i followed all the exercises from that tiktok but after a while i started to get pretty bored so i started messing around in the mirror and remember this thing i used to do a lot when i was a kid where i grabbed my lips and stuck my tongue out because i thought it made me look like a goat <laughs> and uh yeah <laughs> sorry it's still hilarious i guess i am the goat so i think i'm gonna put the hunter eyes exercises in the c tier because some of them felt kind of nice but most of them uh made my eyes feel weird and, and itchy but I will be putting my goat impression in the S tier because that was hilarious. The next day, bye bye. I decided to try out the little posture fixing vibrator I bought. So let's see how that vibrator. Works. Good morning, guys. It is um, about ten thirty today. I'm gonna try out this uh, this posture because even in this fucking video right now, I'm slouching like fucking crazy, which is really annoying. Uh, I'm gonna try out this uh, upright go S. I could have sworn they made a product that like zapped you every time you slouched and i was trying to find that but i feel like that might wait drew did one but this is kind of what it like Add it's one. kind of the same thing this is sort of like a dog collar but for people with that posture i don't think dog collars are for dog posture it so it from him from like five minutes in the future from then i posture that's the joke i should have made okay all right so let's take a look at this packaging here take control of your posture real-time posture feedback Use daily goals that are personalized and based on your performance. God, everything has posture. an app nowadays. See your daily posture stats and keep track of your progress over time. Tiny <sighs> device, huge impact. Now, this is making me aware of my posture. I know a little something about that. Backed by science, we apply biofeedback science to create cognitive awareness that empowers behavior. What does change. that even Multiple mean? Studies conclude that using upright devices results in biofeedback. That means to fit nothing. Every back. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope so. Is this it here? Oh, it's pretty, oh, it's small. pretty small. I know a little something about that. Okay, I just realized, I forgot that I have to charge it. So I'm going to charge this and then we'll get back to it. But I feel like I just bought a little vibrator. So that's pretty fun. A few hours At least later. you use it for other stuff about later. About an hour and a half, my vibrator is fully charged. I got to download an app. Yes! Because fucking everybody, everything has a fucking app these days. What the hell are we doing, guys? Everything you buy, it's got to come with an app. You got to download an app. I bought a fucking bushel of bananas the other day, and it was like, download the banana app to track your banana intake. Corporate big wigs, man. Okay, welcome to Upright. Hi. Find out when you're slouching with a gentle buzz. Get a nice Wait, what buzz. if you put it in your ass, ass and you're like... How many hours a day do you spend sitting? Oh my gosh. Say seven to ten. Main reason for ordering this product. Um, look better. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
Relax, it's not that big of a deal. Place your go on your upper back vertically. Put it anywhere that's easy to reach. Okay. Does this stick? Oh, I think it sticks. Okay, so it's all set. Okay, so that's green. And then if I slouch... Well, that's kind of cool. Oh. Yeah, wow. Okay, so it works. I can definitely see how that uh, could be annoying. What's, like, the threshold? If I'm, like, there... Dude, even a little bit. Okay, well... <sighs> Fuck, I just did it again. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wear this, like, all day. The anti-gunch. See how it goes. I gotta do some work also, some writing, so... This will be an interesting day to see how it goes. If I'm... I'm okay, yep, it went again. It's I'm probably gonna get super annoyed with this, because I'm already technology. annoyed. But so far, it's working pretty well. Chew. I like this little guy, wow. he kind of does what I do. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Posture is going to be goaded by the end of this. Okay, Back I have a... Re sometimes I have a reverse gunch where I can't stop. Ha like, I can't not stand without lumbar... I can't not stand with... I can't... I have to stand with lumbar lordosis. Which is, um... Which is basically serving cunt. Like this. Like, I... I fi sometimes when I sit, it's comfortable. It's more comfortable like this. Like, I have to... I don't know how. I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> fucking vibrated again jesus okay later that night i had to memorize some lines for an audition and i figured that would be the perfect time to test out the posture vibrator and right off the bat i was slouching like fucking crazy and it's probably because i've been slouching for the past 29 years but even with the constant vibrating on my back it was Air incredibly fart. difficult to stop just going back to the default fucking gamer posture <laughs> but i will say the vibrator did exactly what it claimed to do and it was really annoying if i'm being honest every time it vibrated in my head I had this like battle this debate right I was like what's more annoying this occasional oh, Lord vibrating Lord right again. now or the years of discomfort I will inevitably experience if I don't fix my current posture and I think the obvious answer to that question is the vibrating right now because the vibrating is right now the years of discomfort what the fuck when's that when is that years it's in the future what even is that the future doesn't exist okay there's only right now but anyways I figured I would put the posture vibrator in the a tier it is super annoying but like it fucking it really works like every time you have it to vibrates, like it's this. annoying as hell so you're like okay i don't want that to happen again i'm gonna i'm gonna straighten up okay initial thoughts i've been wearing it for about a half hour um this is only really beneficial if you're just fucking sitting at a desk because if you try to do anything else while you're wearing this vibrating thing it will it will vibrate whenever you bend down wait you should wear that at a work meeting and then when they're like um jenkins what's that sound is your phone going off you're, you could say no it's my vibrator started like tidying up my office a little bit and every time i bend down it started vibrating so um that's a little annoying i don't think i'll be able to wear it all day or maybe not maybe i'll just learn to adapt the rest of my life completely upright and the next day i decided to try out some of those uh jaw exercises the inversion table and these were hilarious time. because this is looks maxing right you're supposed to like it's supposed to make you feel good about yourself i've never felt uglier in my whole life <laughs> while doing these exercises this one especially dude i look like a fish that washed up on a beach <laughs> and if i'm being honest none of these exercises felt like i was like actually doing anything it didn't feel like i was getting an uh like a good jaw workout it kind of just felt like i was straining my jaw over and over again like who am i your mom jaw exercises yeah, c tier because I never want to see myself doing those ever again. At this point in my looks maxing journey, I couldn't tell if any progress was actually being made. Sometimes it seemed like it was even getting worse. But later that night, I decided to try out the other product I purchased, the Gua Sha Stone. I looked up a video from someone who actually knew what they were doing because I don't trust a British look smaxing child on TikTok to tell me what to do with it. I don't have any proof that that guy's British, but Sometimes you can just tell, you know? So I followed along British. with this instructional video from Tina Enjo. And this was such a nice change of pace from the other this products. This is probably kind of relaxing. The music was calming. The gua sha stone felt really nice on my skin. And it actually felt really relaxing. Okay, so I just did my first gua sha. Wish I had somewhere to uh. clip this microphone. <laughs> Ow. Why'd I even try that? <laughs> yeah, first impressions. 
felt fucking awesome, man. It felt really relaxing. I mean, it, it makes sense. It's people have been doing it for fucking thousands of years. So obviously there's some there's some benefits to it. Yeah, and watching this nice video skin. compared to the TikTok that I found out about what it. What the fuck is, is that? That guy's just like... <laughs> Both ends of the self-care spectrum. <laughs> on one side, you have like calming videos like this. And on the other side of the spectrum is like, get yourself in the hammer, break your fucking jaw. It's just really interesting. So the Gua Sha Stone, that's S tier. Loved it, no notes. Time for gum. Hey, goofy piece of gum, dude. What the hell is this bullshit? <laughs> and the taste is already gone. I don't know what it is about this gum. Whenever I chew it, I want to throw up. Is that normal? <laughs> I then decided to try playing some video games while wearing my posture corrector. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't think being an epic gamer could get any lamer. But playing video games with perfect posture has got to be the dorkiest thing I've ever done in my life. I want to steal my own lunch I'm money and give myself a swirly just watching this video back, dude. It just sucks how well that posture vibrator works, you know? It sucks. I fucking hate this little thing, man. I hate it. I should just... Ugh. I should just friggin' sh shove it i just shove it up my butt or something what yeah that'll show it <laughs> it would suck for me right that'll that'll teach you the lesson right and the next day i had one final look smaxing product to test out it's a new day new fucking product to try what is this jaw exerciser i'm curious oh. to see the details of this because it looks just like you gotta chew on something from the video right you just gotta that's the tutorial it's a video of a guy going like well first off whoa Yo. Okay, oh, is that the mind. thing? I think after this, I'm going to have to try intelligence maxing. I'm going to take a video of this so you know what I'm talking about. But this little thing, it says 30 pounds, 40 pounds, and 50 pounds. So that means what? pressure. Like 30 pounds of pressure it takes to squeeze it. But in my head, I was like, that's how much they weigh. Genuinely, in my head, I was like, how do these weigh a collective... 13 minus 50. 120 pounds and I'm just carrying it all <laughs> willy-nilly in my hand. Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking idiot. Place both exercisers between the molar teeth, position the units where it feels comfortable. This seems dangerous. should be facing up and down and the Mayena logos facing sideways. Squeeze and release the units using your molar teeth. Chewing motion should be a straight up and down and not a circular motion. Make sure to apply repetitive squeezing exercises with a light force and not bite too hard on the silicone units, okay? Repeat the exercise until you feel your jaw is tired. We suggest doing a 20, 30 repetitions at a time and a few sets per day? Yo, what? How does it, I phone. need to see how it works when it, how to work it. Perfect. 500 gigabytes, Thanks, not Melissa. Still. Perfect. Looks so yeah, these definitely look like they're easy to choke on. Yeah. yeah. Feels like a, feels like an eraser. And I've chewed on my fair share of erasers growing up. So I think this will be just like that. If I was a baby. Wait, it's a chew like toy? That. I can say that confidently. All right, here we go. I'm a molar. I started my jaw exercise and it seemed to be going It's fine. a chew toy! And I was munching on those things and I could feel my jaw getting a nice workout. But then all of a sudden I got like super nauseous out of nowhere. <coughs> okay. Great. Doesn't that give you a headache? That gives you head. That's why TMJ, it gives you headaches. I think I just have a really bad gag reflex, but uh, yeah, that would, I, those make me want to throw up. And my jaw feels tired. So that I guess it, I guess it works. I also, when I was chewing those, I had like a split second. I was like, imagine choking on these and dying. <laughs> and that's how I go. The embarrassment I would feel would be worse than dying. I think. Oh, bah, I guess bah, bah. said to do a, a couple <laughs> sets a day. So I'll do another one later just to see how it goes. Maybe I won't puke that time. But uh, <laughs> listen, do you want to be handsome so or put not? Those little jaw exercisers in the C tier. I would put them in the D tier, but I did feel my jaw muscles getting a good exercise. And also, I didn't choke and die on them. If I would have died, This is though, useless. You used it for weeks. You use that? Bro, just eat food. D tier. Because D stands for dead. Also, I've been thinking, that, like, the more I mew. Because I've been There's doing no it way. Like, all day, every day for the past, like, week, almost. The more I do it, the more I'm seeing the benefits. Not just for, like, the jaw. That I haven't really seen too much of that yet. But, like, I just think life would be easier for guys in general if we all just mewed all the time. Because if you're mewing, you're not talking. And if you're not talking, you're not gonna say any dumb shit. So, ladies, if you want to get your boyfriend to stop saying dumb shit all the time, make him start mewing, dude. It's <laughs> well, actually, what am I saying? Like any straight women are watching my videos. <laughs> ladies, if you want to get your girlfriend to stop saying a bunch of dumb shit, get him on the mew train. All right. All right. It was my final day of looks maxing. I've done every exercise. I've tried every product. 
I've walked every walk. So I figured the final day would be the perfect day to cram everything into one final looks maxing day. And this was rough, I'll admit it. I started off with some jaw exercises that only really just hurt my mouth. I then tried to get some work done while mewing with perfect posture. I was typing and clicking like crazy. To be honest, I was so focused on my posture, I didn't even realize what I was doing. And when I looked up at my screen to see what I have created, I was pretty impressed. I did a quick jaw exercise with my little vomit inducers, and I hated every Ew. second of it. I hate these things, okay? They're bad. <laughs> I then went into the bathroom and got really excited because I got to do my gua sha routine again. And this was really relaxing and I felt very calm. This was the best part of my day. And as soon as I was done, I went back into losing my goddamn fucking mind. This is what one week of looks maxing does to a motherfucker. This was the lowest point of the week. I've done so much and I don't think there's been any impact on my appearance. There's definitely been an impact on my fucking brain, but what's the point of that? Who cares? You can't even see my fucking brain. I wish my head was see-through. I got to such a low point that I was even considering the forbidden look smaxing tactic. But then I decided I that Hammer Gooden was actually a really nice guy and he would never hit me in the face. Too. And that's what I said. Hammer, I hardly know her. <laughs> And later that night, I popped in another piece of jawliner gum while I had the posture corrector on. And this was a mistake. This was the most annoying 10 minutes of my life. I would be focused on not puking from this gum and then the thing would buzz on my back. And it was just a constant loop of that until I threw in the towel. I can't fucking wear this thing anymore, man. Move my neck one thing is like... Mm -mm. Put it on your mm -mm. pussy. Fuck that. I fucking hate this gum. Uh. Yeah! And with that, I was finally done my week of looks maxing. And Just result. go to gym, TDH, and do cardio that help you a lot. But I don't want to go to the gym. I want to have hunter eyes or no woman will ever fuck me. Because because all the chads are at the top and they have all the Stacys. You don't understand. They'll never I'll never get laid. I'm gonna die forever alone because no Stacy wants me. The fucking femoids all want the one same chad at the top. Right. It's because well, I don't have hunter eyes and my wrist is too small. Oh. Of trying out these looks maxing products and implementing these daily exercises and routines. And it's time to find out if any of that had any impact whatsoever on my appearance. I just took a photo at the same angle as the original one from a week ago. Fuck with us and we so let's see the results. Do you guys see any difference? It actually does kind of look like my jaw got a little sharper which is which is a little weird <laughs> i mean that's got to be an angle thing i'm sure right there's no way that i actually fucking worked in the last week right it oh looks sorry it looks same. different because i edited the the picture this is what yeah. i actually look like now pretty fucking similar yeah there's no difference okay and that's how easy it is to lie to people about the results of looks maxing so you can sell them mogwarts classes and jaw exercisers i'm sure we could zoom in and you know try to dissect very minimal changes but i don't think there are any from what i've seen you can do that for yourself and your own spare time if you're one of those people um like without a job and sure you could say it takes longer to see results but if something takes longer than a week to see results it's not worth your time okay never mind that's not that's <laughs> not the lesson here to be honest i can totally see how easy it is to fall down the looks maxing pipeline it's a community that's a little bit more self-aware of its absurdity than the other similar ideologies in the manosphere and i never want to discourage people from wanting to improve their health but looks maxing kind of does the opposite of what it's intending sometimes obsessing over your features that much is not good for your brain but also at the same time i'm not going to sit but here if and i say don't obsess over my features how will i ever get my dick wet by pussy my whole life revolves around getting my dick wet from pussy so i have to looks max i don't know what treating women like real people means i don't know what that means I just want I just want women to to sit on my dick and I want to be an alpha chad. Smaxing is wrong. Having good posture and taking good care of your teeth. I'd agree with that any day. Smashing your bones, stretching your junk and yeah, chewing personality on is at the point of no return. So I have to I have to change my look. I have to I have to hunter eye max parading as gum don't do any of those things ever obviously <laughs> through everything i tried i think the strangest part of this week was just like staring at myself for long periods of time combing through every detail looking for improvements searching for a sign of a sharper jawline and not being able to see any all i saw was just me i looked at myself in the mirror and the face that looks back at me today is not the same face i saw when i looked in the mirror 20 
10, five, or even one year ago. I've never had a say in how my face was going to change over the years. And I love that. We should all love that. And if I'm being honest, the more I did these exercise and methods this week, the more I thought to myself, God, I hope this doesn't actually change my face. <laughs> Cause then my face wouldn't be mine, right? It wouldn't be my fucking face. Ah! I think the overall message I'm trying to convey, which is very base level, but I know it's hard, but I think you should at least try to love the things that make you unique. You got a big nose. No, but I don't want to love the things about me because I'll never be an alpha chad that get all the Stacys and femords. I have to look a specific way with hunter eyes and thick wrists or I'll never get my dick wet. Please, please, I need a pussy max. I have to get pussy, please, 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 That's please. That's badass, you can smell more stuff. You know, if you've got orange hair, then that's fine. <laughs> if you have an Audi belly button that you hate or something, then that's that's actually fair. I agree with that. Audi belly oh my God, some guy did, some guy was like, you have such a long belly button. And then I go on their profile and it's always like some dude. It's it's like some guy. It's always some guy. There was another guy that commented that was like, you are pretty, but your style is trash. And it was some guy like wearing Adidas track pants, shorts, and a t-shirt. And it, it's always some guy. It's, and I said, you look like shit. <laughs> it's, why is it always some weird guy? It's always some weird guy buttons are weird as fuck and also the other lesson is don't hit yourself with a hammer and start crab walking i can't be the only guy doing it okay i need all claws on deck okay thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed already what the hell are you doing press the button okay as soon as you press the subscribe button you become a valued citizen of curtis town if you didn't know curtis town is the best place to live in the world and i'm the mayor of curtis town so you have to be nice to me it's the law okay so come along yeah, it's always some guy and then it's like when my friend posts pictures and like she has a hairy arm or whatever and it's always guys that comment on her hairy arms and say shit like your hairy arms are unattractive to men by the way and then the girls don't give a shit come come live here we're steadily approaching five million okay so get in now all right you know so weird what is this later alligator after a while crocodile <laughs> wait a minute oh, wow. hold on that's oh, delicious stop. Did you come up with what's that? What's the difference oh. between a crocodile and an alligator? No, really, what's the difference? I'm obsessed. What sounds oh. do crocodiles make? What's the square root of 64? I can't. Well, write a book. Oh my god. Wow. Later, alligator. <laughs> this is what the girly pops are up to. I need to watch this again. Later, or I really later. enjoyed it. After a while, crocodile. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Hold on. That's oh, delicious. Stop. How did you come up with what's that? What's the difference oh. between a crocodile and an alligator? Again? No, really, what's the difference? I'm obsessed. What sounds oh. do crocodiles make? What's the square root of 64? I can't. Well, write a book. Oh my god. Write a book. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, hello? Hi, Bubba. Oh. I told you to call me King. Yes, King. Let me see if there's any boys around you. Okay. See? There's none here. I promise. I need to be sure. Put me on speakerphone. If anyone goes near my queen, they die. so safe now. <laughs> Papa, are you braiding it for someone else right now? <laughs> uh, no, no, of course not, kitten. Good. Because trust me, this kitten isn't afraid to use her claws. <laughs> Oh!
Game over. I died. Oh no. Okay, start. We start. We start. We start. Would you like to restart? We start. We start. We start. Game over. I died. We start.